Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Future Forward Sales Podcast. I'm your host, Lynn, and today I'm joined by our special guest, Cosmo Intermente. And I am so excited about this discussion today because we're going to be talking about how to bridge the learning gap with the best process for your brain. And I want to tell you a little bit about Cosmo. He is a highly credentialed instructor of learning techniques. He has a master, he has master level certifications in the following fields. And pardon me if I look at some of my notes, mind maps, speed reading, microfacial expressions, team building, public speaking, effective communication, goal setting, decision making, personal development, time management, and memory techniques. And I think I need some of those so I can get through all of everything that you do, Cosimo. Um, Cosimo was born and raised in Italia. He and his wife enjoy training people all over the world from their Denver office. They customize programs that are unique to each person's learning style and brain development. Cosimo believes everyone loves to learn, but what they don't like is the learning process. So he bridges that gap by teaching people the best process for their brain. And I am so thrilled to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me, Cosmo. My pleasure. I'm super excited to be here with you. You're a person full of energy and we, we connected super well the first time we met. So I'm super, super happy to be here. <laughs> And well, empower gonna, people, yes. Yeah, absolutely. And this is going to be such a great conversation. And for all of those who are joining us for the very first time, uh, please don't miss a single episode by subscribing to Future Forward Sales wherever you get your podcasts. And while you're there, if you love what we're doing and you love these episodes, please leave us a five-star review. We would certainly appreciate it. All right, Cosimo, let's get into this. And I, I know I gave some background, obviously, in your bio. But I'd love to hear you tell our audience more about who you are and what your organization does. Sure. So the thing is, I teach people how to learn faster and retain information forever. The thing is that, as the sentence says, we love learning, but we do, we, what our brain doesn't like is the process to go through is because no one taught us how to learn if you think in school. They just told us what to do but not how our brain likes retaining or likes organizing, likes um, uh, reading and understanding. Likes... So we don't know all those things. So if I ask you, for example, how does your brain likes retaining languages? You say, I don't know, maybe it should just repeat over and over. I don't know, use that. Uh, and actually repeating over and over doesn't work long term. So, and people fall in through this and they feel like I can't retain languages, but actually it's not true. It's just because they don't know how their brain likes learning. So basically when my company asked me, Cosimo, do you want to open an American location? I said, certamente, mi sembra una bella opportunità. Mi piace parlare in inglese, mi piace parlare con gli americani. È una sarà una bellissima esperienza, ma ho un po' di paura. I did not speak English three years, so four years ago already. And I was super scared to come here in the US. Since the thing is, I mean, since you asked me, where I'm from. So I actually, I'm from Italy. And the thing is, I was, I'm dyslexic. And I had a very hard time to learn like English in years and years of school. Also other, other subjects in that case in school, at least. And I was super scared because I mean, I was, I'm a national, I was a national speaker in Italy. I was talking to many universities in that moment and call, so high schools and, and it was super good. And when they asked me to come here in the US, I said, oh no, I have to, ask, I have to start over again. And plus, I don't know the language. How can I do that? <laughs> so, on the other hand, fortunately, I had a very good, a good voice that said, yes, Cosimo, you never learned English. Yes, Cosimo, you never, like, you're dyslexic, but now you have a method. And thanks to the method, when I came here, I learned 6,000 words in two weeks, plus the grammar rules in English. And I was able to hold my course after five weeks I was here. So from there, I did a TED talk. I had hundreds and hundreds of students in those four years, over 700 in the US. And I, I love this because the thing is, if people know how their brain likes learning and they, and they know how their brain likes working or creating results in their business, they don't have any more limits. 
and they feel it's, they feel limitless they can really like uh, achieve the goals they have and i really believe that everyone has dreams inside willpower to make them and when we don't know what the process for our brain the best so what what the best process for our brain is of course it can become a challenge so i want people to feel that something that's not possible for them with their brain can become can become possible when they have a method so that's in a nutshell who i am and what i do <laughs> yeah well that that's really amazing i don't know if i still know all the grammar rules of the u.s language or the english <laughs> language i should say i mean there is a difference between american english and other yes. versions of english but British maybe, english, yes. um let's see so i mean you sort of touched on it there but let's sort of dive in a little deeper on what the biggest challenge your clients face so it depends because i work with both students from college and high school and um, and professionals i will talk about the professionals because sometimes professionals don't think they have learning blocks they think the problem is themselves okay and uh, and I can tell you, I went through that so many times and, and the pattern for many people, usually it's, it's almost the same. But for example, blocks can be in learning, it can be, for example, pro procrastinating or reading over and over without retaining things. Or I, I know I have to follow up more with my clients and do something, but I, I don't find the time to do it. And even if I have an automating system, I can't write every time a newsletter or uh, manage someone that's doing that or there are so many things, okay? This is organization. And other blocks can be like, they want to expand their business abroad. They are talking to Spanish speakers. They would like to learn Spanish. They go through courses with Spanish and they can't retain the language, whatever. So there are so many, many blocks. I, I cannot tell all of them because I will make you bored at some point with all the blocks that we have. But the thing is what they most experience is they start thinking with the, in the, inside of themselves see it's you that you didn't do that see some other people are doing that and you're not doing that see you should have done that but you didn't do it or uh, how easy is it to do this but you didn't follow through uh, again another thing to put on my to-do list and you see those to-do lists going and becoming super big <laughs> that they have to accomplish and they 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 drag them until the end of the year without accomplishing something important on that to the list or if they do it there is still something that they didn't do it during the year okay. so what i do with them is i want to i want to tell you this because it's very super interesting after you know how your brain likes, likes organizing and i want to tell you about this what does it mean your brain likes organizing it means this that not everyone organizes the same way and not everyone has their uh, the same learning model What's a learning model? In a, in a nutshell, the learning model is the brain, how your brain likes learning. So I summarized this thick book in one sentence. <laughs> so everyone has a different way to organize things. You can buy any books about organization, but the thing is, if they don't know how your brain likes learning, they're not able to customize their organization on your brain. So you're going to feel the book doesn't work. Actually, it's not the book. The book, it's great. It's a good author, and it's me. I am the disaster in my business. And I would say, no, people can be, for example, what about learning? What's inside of the learning model? People can be, for example, analytical or global or visual or verbal. And I'm not talking about learning channels. I'm talking about cognitive style. So how their brain likes understanding, putting together a piece of information, execute them and have an outcome later. If you don't know that, how can how can you like find the perfect method that goes with your brain? Yeah. And yeah. most of the times when I say analytical, people think like analytical is someone that that loves math. No, it's something even more. It's someone, for example, that loves having have everything under control. If they don't see the full picture, they can't execute things. So the thing is, you have to understand how your brain likes learning. And when people talk to me or at least to take an assessment with me and they say oh my gosh i never thought i never i never was able to put in words this thing now i understand it and i can find the perfect method for me and then i have people that for example i had this guy that he told me that he couldn't raise his money every year he felt super overwhelmed super busy but not enough productive we understood that he was analytical and visual for example and i said for your brain the perfect way to retain, execute, 
and organize things is this. We did it together. We restructured the whole business thanks to the techniques. And it was able to basically pass from $80,000, $80,000 a year to 350 in, I think in five months, actually achieved that goal. But then you can find this on the website if you want to find the testimonials. <laughs> but I, I really think that when people know how their brain likes learning and they know what to do with their brain, they not only become very good business owners, they not only impact more people with their business, but they're impacting the very first person that produces in the business. So themselves. Yeah. yeah. No, so, absolutely. I think that's absolutely vital. And to your point, I, it sounds like for many people, um, and also just sort of the state of where we're at with learning and how much is being thrown at us every day. Um, this issue is more urgent than ever. I mean, what's your take on that? The thing is, most of the times they, they have to be aware they have that. Because if we keep saying uh, we, we are the problem, I would say we are also the only solution for that. So, and... Uh, the thing is, being aware is the very first step to do. I think your question is more like, um, how can we start being better in doing this, correct? <laughs> is that the question that you're asking me, just to make sure? Yeah, well, it's really more about, like, you know, why is this this concept of learning how to, to um, learning how to learn where it fits the way that your brain works, why is this more urgent than ever? I mean... You know, I, I mean, see. my take on that would be that because otherwise, you know, you're really not being as effective and efficient as you could be. You're being frustrated. Yeah. Um, and so that it can be really impact your self-assurance or your confidence. Correct. So to me that this is a really urgent issue uh, for people out there so that they understand how their brain works so that they can then learn far more effectively. Because I know that there's certain things that I really struggle with in the sense of like memorization and that just trying to just simply memorize something like drill it into you by memory. And, and I struggle with that, <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just not an effective way for me to learn because I might be able to memorize. Um, like, like I always say, I, I would never be able to be an actress cause I can't, or an actor, I can't memorize lines and um and yet i'm sure that with the right learning technique and the right process that matched the way my brain works i probably could do that um so that was really where i was yes. going at with how you know why this is so such an urgent I can, um need i can't really tell you because the thing is you of course have goals and everyone achieve goals is more motivated but when we don't achieve them because there are some blocks there is because so you are going to feel less confident your self-esteem goes down and the thing is you start becoming super busy because you start executing everything until you feel you're doing enough but actually it never is enough until you are right. productive right and the thing is it's very urgent because instead of us going inside and bother ourselves because you are not good enough or because we're not doing enough why well, don't you think that actually it's just a method that you never had and no one taught you and you start looking for a method so keep going ahead that way for many people will become, yes, as you said, frustrating. It will become very anxious sometimes. Or it become like they become super perfectionist in what they are doing and making mistakes anyways. And, or like they become like resigned. They say, I, I think I'm not good at this. I'm, I don't think I have to go ahead with this. It's not bringing me anywhere or whatever. Well, I think we are here for a reason. And if we have a method that we can follow in our brain and use it, we can have tools. I always give this metaphor, and I don't want to spoil everything in this call, but the thing is, let's say I ask you to change a flat tire of a car, right. and I don't give you any tools to do that. The thing is, how can you change the flat tire? You can yeah. be smart. You can be a great person. You can be super energetic, enthusiastic about your job, passionate about your job, but you're not going to go as fast as you want to go with a car. And plus, what happens? <laughs> they are going to doubt on what? On the driver at some point. So they don't think it's the freaking car. It's just the driver that doesn't go good. So when you're saying to yourself, I'm not good enough, you're saying the driver is not good enough. 
but mm. realistically, the driver never had the flat tire, never had the tools to change a flat tire. So yeah. who do you blame? No one. Actually, I would say they should have given me a method when I was in school, but the school doesn't do that. It's not their fault because a teacher also can't give a method to everyone or 100 kids that they have. Plus, maybe they still have the method of repeating over and over and it's not a method, for example, that one. How can you do that? So it's your own responsibility to find someone that can customize the method on you. Guys, you can go on any, any, anywhere on YouTube and books. There are thousands so of things and tools out there. I would recommend, talk to me so I can give you all, all at once one thing and you got it. So you don't need to do every, every, any research. I already did all of that for you. At the same time, I will give you also where to find the, the resources you need. And it will be amazing for you understanding that actually you too, Lean, can, can be an actor if you want to memorize things. <laughs> so really our brain is able to do anything if we know how, if we know the right, right. process. Right. No, I mean, that really makes sense, you know, especially when you tie it into how your brain works uh, so that you can, um, uh, you know, really absorb and, um, you know, move your own knowledge and your abilities forward. And it sounds to me like, you know, one of those challenges also that, you know, besides, you know, the frustration or anxieties that people could literally just get burned out uh, yes. because they're just it's it's not um, whatever they're doing. Um, they haven't solved that crucial problem of how does it work for their brain to um, learn and to be able to absorb and then really um, own that knowledge and, and that uh, whatever it is that they're trying to accomplish. So I think that one thing here is that I'd love to dive a little deeper into a few of the hidden critical success factors that, that you deliver, Cosimo. So can you give me an example of what you think it can be? Well, let's see. Well, obviously we talked about like everyone's brain functions um, differently. And I love that analogy of how people organize things differently. So I've seen people who have like their, their desk looks like literally a bomb hit it. And yet they can put their hand out and reach for something out of that pile. Yes. <laughs> yes. That, that is what they were looking for. And I mean, if, I, my desk, on the other hand, is very organized. I like even my desktop, every, I know exactly where everything is. I, I organize it really logically and, and this, but it's the same thing. If I need something, I know exactly where it is, but my file system, I, I mean, cause it's the same thing. I've seen people that their desktop, they've got like, literally, I don't know yes. how they get them on there, but like a thousand files on their desktop. I have, you know, four folders and then everything's are, everything is organized in those folders and subfolders and subfolders, you know, right? I see. So that's one of the interesting things to me is like, well, you know, uh, identifying, you know, how someone that, that learning style that they have or how I their see. brain works. So <laughs> it's a huge topic, huge topic. This one on my YouTube channels, there are so many tips about it. One thing to tell you that I can summarize here is, first of all, everyone is his own learning model. So actually they need to find the perfect method for themselves. If we want to understand better our brain, basically we need to understand where, what the main cognitive styles are. People can be, as I told you, global. So global means big picture. So they have right. to get to the point on the big picture. Analytical people, they need to have all the details under control in order to have the big picture. They want to get to the point, but after they have enough details to say, yes, I can move forward. Then we have verbal and analytical and verbal and visual people. Visual people are people that they have to do things and see things to replicate the result. Verbal people, they are very logical. So everything needs to be structured in order to make sense. Now, all those four contribute to your brain to feel confident you can execute, operate, organize, and do the things. Thinking about what you're talking about, I think you're super, <laughs> you are analytical, <laughs> global, and visual. <laughs> That's what I think you are in this moment. But based on how you organize your desktop. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> there is an assessment, it's called the genius test. Uh, and 
people can take it if they want and they can see how their brain likes learning and everything. But one thing to tell you is how can you really uh, associate a method? Well, as I told you, it's a broad, broad, uh, it requires time to answer this question. But as I said, you can find information anywhere on how to organize it in this case. As far as retention, there are other, other tools that you can find out there on YouTube, on uh, books and about memory techniques. And I can tell you my own, own experience. You understand this, why I can answer to the, to the fullest of this. When I was a kid and I found, I found out that I couldn't learn super fast, I bought some books about memory techniques or for students. Okay? So how to memorize formulas, how to uh, understand formulas, how can you read better, how can, oh my gosh, there are hundreds of books that I still have in Italy, in Italian, <laughs> that I bought when I was a kid to understand how can I do that in my brain better. The problem was that I was trying those techniques because I was motivated since I didn't want to feel dumb. Because honestly, I want to, I want to confess to you that I was feeling dumb that, I, dumb that I couldn't understand things or it was taking me so much time and hard work to study something that someone else would have studied in two minutes, okay? And uh, I, didn't, I, I really wanted to release the stress of feeling that dumb, okay, that, those subjects. So I was reading those books and I was trying to apply some techniques like visualizing uh, the numbers of something or the creating acronyms with the very first things you want to memorize or uh, there were different techniques on using on to use. But the problem was none of them really worked with me. And I was thinking that I was even more dumb. <laughs> and, and the moment I said, it has to, doesn't need to be this hard. And then when I understood that it was just because of my learning model. So I'm dyslexic, it doesn't mean that I have a disease or whatever, it just means that my brain works differently. And my brain needs to know how to, so how to do that, okay? And also your brain needs to know, everyone actually has dyslexia a little bit, okay? Yeah, the thing I is, do. Our brain, our brain works in a different way every time. It depends how much you have the dyslexia, ADD, ADHD, whatever you have. You have to know how your brain likes going through the process and then give the tools to that person, okay, to that, to that brain. The tools out there are a lot. And actually, it's my mission and my job to tell them, hey, your brain is this. This is the best that you can use. When they use the technique, I can promise to you. After you use it, you say, oh my gosh, where were you 10 years ago when I needed this? <laughs> How could I not see that was the perfect thing for, for me to do to achieve Absolutely. this? Absolutely. And to your point, I mean, I know that I'm just a very little bit dyslexic, but yeah, it does affect you. And uh, to so, what you're saying, sorry, I think I talked over you. Sorry about that, Cosmo. No, no, it's fine. No, no, you didn't. I mean, I, I appreciate when you, when you interact with this because... Uh, you actually are confirming exactly what I'm saying. So um, what I'm saying is, hey, you don't know exactly how your brain likes learning. You want to really dive in, in this and understand how your brain is, is great in doing things. Hey, I can have a 30 minutes free talk to you. Usually didn't do that for free, but thanks to you, I can give this for free. It doesn't matter. About 30 minutes, I, it would be the... I'm for the most unforgetful one to one you will do whatever so ever in your life because I think you understand wow this is how my brain when the trip instead of instead of instead of being internally thinking why am I this dumb like I was thinking but it turns into how can I how does my brain likes learning have the conversation with your brain how does my brain likes learning how does my brain like organizing? Have, so you start a conversation within yourself without judgment. Well, it changes everything. And then you will talk to me and I will say, yes, ex exactly. You are this way, this way. That's how you do it. And you can do it by yourself, finding all the things out there. You can have 30 minutes with me. You can do it. And I'm not styling this, okay? I'm just saying, hey, talk to someone. I, I found someone to talk to and I said, how can we do this? I don't want to waste any more time in my life. If you find a solution, give it to me. If I if, if I think it's good, I will I will go on. If I don't think if I think it's a dumb, still more dumb than I think, I will I will not go move forward. Here I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, 
I think that I would sort of classify it that, you know, you recognize that you might have a challenge in this area uh, or, you know, just like I was talking about, like it's, I really struggle with things like learning, like memorizing, like lines of something. Um, but the more I do presentations and I write, I actually write out whenever I'm going to be doing a, a, a talk or on yes. a summit, et cetera. And I rehearse it and I practice it. It just starts to, I really absorb it in that way. And, uh, but I'll still like to have my notes handy so that I can refer to them, but I will also just highlight certain things that I know that I, you know, are the key things that I want to remember. And rather than like trying to read off read something yes. like I was doing at the beginning oh, if of you're this. asking you, <laughs> yes, most of the people like you knows what they are doing. But if you notice, if I ask people, how many of you underline, do you know how many will uh, raise their hand? Most of them. How many of you actually write down some sentences next to the page? How many of you summarizes things? How many of you, you will yeah. find it different, but it will not be something different. <laughs> in, in, the, in the realm of repetition, everyone is going to go back at least one more time to make sure they, did, they understood <laughs> or they can retain. But our yeah. brain hates going back, hates repeating. It's not a method. And the thing is, things that you can find, how can you understand you have blocks? Well, that's a good question that you asked me actually uh, on uh, earlier. So, I mean, now you make me think about this. A people have blocks when they have to go back on something more than one time, for example, or if they feel not confident when they have to relearn something, or they feel frustrated when they don't get done the things. When they are super busy, not productive, they have a block. When they feel they're procrastinating so much than they should, they have a block. When they think they are not having the income that they want, the income that we have, it's a result of different actions that you did until now to have that income. If some right. months is good, sometimes some months is not, so it's not stable, it means that the strategy you're using don't exist because they're not stable. Or oh, you didn't figure yeah. out what the strategies are. So there are many ways you can understand blocks. And honestly, I really love when I talk about this with people. It's my passion. It's I have so much enthusiasm about this because I love it. And I love seeing in them like, wow, <laughs> that's is that really? Yes, it's a simple thing that you switch it and it comes. So all right. Well, this has been so wonderful, Cosimo. Thank you so much for sharing how to bridge the learning gap with the best process for your brain. Um, I know that our listeners are going to want to know more about where they can find out about you and where they can find you. <laughs> yes. First of all, I'm very a simple guy. Go on Facebook, tay, tape, uh, type, sorry, type uh, Cosimo Intermite type Cosimo Intermite and message me on Facebook. Uh, you can also go on geniusin21daysusa.com. And I know, I think you will put this in a description so they can follow me. I will. I will provide those links down below so that you are just a click away. Um, so we'll provide both those um, and a couple additional links where people can find you. And I want to just thank you again. This has been such a great discussion. And for those of you who are tuning in, um, I want to thank you as well. And if you would like to have, um, you have some thoughts you'd like to share, you can leave us a comment down below that we were just talking about where you can find your quick links. Um, we do love hearing from you. And if you have questions or would like to suggest a topic for discussion, you can email us at join the conversation at petite to queen.com. And of course, to stay current on all of our insightful advice, our breakthrough advantages, and wonderful episodes like the one with Cosmo today, you can sign up for our weekly wisdoms newsletter at petite to queen.com. And um, thank you everyone for listening. And Cosmo, thank you so much uh, for being here today. Thank you. So I, uh, it was a pleasure. Hope everyone understood how important it is to have our brain function and they couldn't ever listen to this if it wasn't thanks to you. So thank you very much. <laughs>